Hello everyone, thank you for checking out this video. You are with Coach Jordan from Territory Academy. Right now, we are going to be solving this question together. For this lesson, we will be trying to scale this given problem down to a smaller problem, a simpler one, and then see whether we can derive any pattern out of the values that come out of it. All right. So first, um, let's look at the question. So Jonathan here is walking up a staircase and he can choose to take either one or two steps each time he goes up the staircase. All right. So how many ways are there for him in total to walk up a staircase consisting of nine steps? All right, so let's try to simplify the problem a little bit first and consider a staircase of a smaller size. All right, so if the staircase had, let's say, one step, well, obviously, there should only be one possible way for him to do so, which is just one, right? Okay, because he can't take two steps. All right, whereas if the staircase now had two steps, he could take either one and one, or he could simply complete the staircase in just one time or two steps, right? So as you can see, there are two total ways over here, right? So over here, there's one way. Right now, there are two ways, okay? So what about if we extend it to three steps instead? Can you see we would have one, one, one as a possible combination, one, two as a possible combination, and even two, one as a possible combination because I could swap these order around, right? And therefore, that constitutes another three ways. What about if we consider four steps? We would still have the option to simply use one steps all the way. We could have one, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, one, and even two and two. And as you can see, that constitutes five total ways. All right. So based on the numbers written here in this column, can we try to see if there's any pattern observable? Now, what we do know is that one plus two gives us three, and two plus three gives us five over here. So, if our guess is that this follows the sequence of a Fibonacci sequence, then perhaps that guess might be correct, but let us try to consider one more scenario to see whether our assumption can be proven true, all right? So right now, 3 plus 5 should theoretically give us 8, but we don't know whether that is true yet, so let us test it out. Now, for 5 steps, we could have 5 times of 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, and then we can just move the 2 around, such that we get all these combinations over here, and then we could have 2 copies of 2. And then we can consider moving the 1 around. Alright. And therefore, this will constitute all the co possible combinations for five steps. And if you count them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, we do arrive at the fact that we have eight total ways for five steps. Hence, we can observe that the pattern is indeed that one of a Fibonacci sequence. Right? So therefore, for six steps, seven steps, eight steps, as well as for nine steps, you can simply follow the rules of a Fibonacci sequence to derive all of these numbers over here. So 5 plus 8 should give us 13. 13 plus 8 gives us 21. 21 plus 13 gives us 34. And lastly, to obtain the number of ways for 9 steps, 21 plus 34 will give us 55. And therefore, in total, there would be 50, uh, 55 possible ways for us, or rather for Jonathan, to climb such a staircase. All right. So just to recap, since nine steps can be written as a wide array of combinations consisting of ones and twos, we first scale the problem down and consider a smaller scale problem and see whether we can derive any patterns, right, and observing each of these values one by one. We have completed this lesson. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. Goodbye and see you again in another lesson. If you would like to learn more from these tutorials, please smash that like and subscribe button.